The people, the headlines, the issues impacting you. All on This Week in Cincinnati on 9 in Your Side. Welcome back. This week we are speaking with the Democratic candidate for Hamilton County Commissioner Stephanie Dumas. Also joining us is WCPO reporter Paula Christian. And before we went to break, I said I wanted to talk about the opioid crisis. Sure. We've been talking about this for a long time. How would you tackle it? Well, I, you know, I see that similar to the homeless homelessness uh, problem. Uh, it's a symptom of other things. Um, so people... Um, the opioid issue is something because a, a lack of resources, a lack of maybe hope, um, just um, trying to relieve some of the stress of life. Um, and so we definitely need to provide treatment. We need to provide hope. Uh, we need to uh, provide um, some remedies, some solutions. Um, so um, it, it's very a very serious issue, even though I didn't bring it up. Um, it affects the family, the whole family, and I'm concerned about the whole family and them being successful. Switching off the issues and back to your candidacy, mm -hmm. how is your candidacy historic? It's very historic um, because um, Hamilton County was established in 1790 mm -hmm. and the Hamilton County Commission was in 1796. So 222 years now, there has never been a person of color, male or female, on the county commission. And I just really feel that the commission should be reflective of the community that it serves. And so, of course, I represent everyone, but I bring a diversity not only of culture, of thought, but also of color. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, but I think it's just a good thing to, to get started, and I'd love to start it. And Does that resonate with people you're trying to reach when you explain to them that? It really resonates. People go, oh, really? I can't believe it. And they want to get on board. Um, and we call it the D train for the Dumas train. They, I said, come on and get on board. And when they talk, every, it doesn't matter what color, what, I mean, what age, male or female, um, they want to be a part of history. So, yeah. And also another area, um, I'm also a survivor of domestic violence. Oh. So uh, people really respond to that almost as much as when I tell them I was a semi-pro softball player. Like, oh, so, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't but, um, yeah, so I am very uh, proud survivor of where you can go, what you can do, um, having gone through, and I wrote two books. Um, one of them was about my survivor as a domestic mm -hmm. violence victim. So. so what drives you in your candidacy? <sighs> Just knowing that I can get in there and uh, maybe work with other people on mm -hmm. the commission and collaborate. I, I have often be, been known as someone who's, who thinks of solutions outside of the box, mm -hmm. that I come up with uh, different things that people have never heard of. And I'm glad I'm a very spiritual person. And so um, I am not only led spiritually, but led. Um, I, my parents always told me, you can do whatever you want to do as long as you work hard. And I think that's why I've been probably doing everything. But uh, it's just to know that you can get in there and come up with something different that'll make a difference eventually in our community. Because people basically don't trust politicians, and I don't call myself a politician, but I know when I'm in the parades, I'll say, vote for me, you will not regret it, I promise you. And I make a promise. And they look like, I think she be okay, you know, so. Over the break, you said or explained why you wear black and white. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Um, I wear black and white because, to me, it's clear as black and white who the best candidate is. And so that's why all our, our team wears black and white, even the one with the blue hair. So, yeah. All right, Stephanie. Thank you for thank sharing you. your perspective with us okay. this morning. And, mm -hmm. as always, Paula, thank, thank you. you.